4D. What Imagix 4D basically does is it creates a graphical representation of source code for C, CPP and Java projects. What are the benefits you have from it? That is uh, that you can explore, understand and rate your software. It also has a central tool for semi-automated reviews and it also produces a lot of um, documentation like the documentation of the software based on the code or some metric reports. <coughs> And we also have some uh, anomaly reports in it to detect some anomalies. I will just uh, demonstrate this on the live environment. So first uh, I've shown you the um, architecture view. We have here um, a small example project if you know Git. This is not the whole architecture because uh, the whole architecture is uh, really great, it's really big and would uh, not show us too much. So you can just go and look for the function here and if you select it we get uh, information on uh, what is it calling. We can also expand it. Okay, it's only in the um, one file here in the usage C happy <clears throat> only here. Um, I try to find some. It gives us a little bit more. Okay. And now just um, showing all relations. <clears throat> now we see a little bit more of the architecture. So we see that um, all files here accepted a built-in. This is a directory. Um, that we have a lot of uh, files directly under the project tree. We have here also some uh, one file. There are more if you expand the whole architecture. Um, <clears throat> and in this file we have uh, done uh, some other files like help, clean, C. Um, this is, uh, I think, a wrapper of a built-in, whatever it is. Here we have to uh, ask the community of Git. And what else do we see here? Um, if we, for example, select uh, we are some of the functions, then we see in the context panel and the left <coughs> lower um, area that uh, here are a short um, cross-reference view. We can also look at the uh, um, general information that shows us that it is a function. We can also look at um, some parts of the source code or some metrics. Then, uh, like explained, we have here um, the global view. Here we can uh, also look a little bit around. Um, here is the symbol panel. Let's go to the architecture diagram. <coughs> so we have seen the um, architecture view. This is the architecture, um, the design structure matrix. Here we have uh, all the relations. Uh, you see that we have here the um, um, same structure like in the um, architecture view. Here is the main main directory and the subdirectories, the C files, and we can also explore the C files. And we get here then um, the relations. Here's just the one, we can expand that to more, but I think it's not so interesting now. <clears throat> now we can go and uh, go to the um, architecture view, we have already seen, and go on to the metrics, just to the function metrics. Here we have uh, a list of all the functions and different metrics, we can expand here more functions. But I think this uh, function, this what we see is enough for now. And what we also see is, um, for example, the decision depth um, that gives us feedback about um, how deep uh, are the decisions in our uh, function. And we have here a really high decision depth, uh, over 100. And what I wanted to do is show you the flowchart that uh, we can a little bit better uh, show uh, what is uh, going on in this code. 
So um, here is uh, of this uh, really deep function, where was it? Here, of handle revision options, um, the flowchart, and we can um, zoom out a little bit. We have it also here and see that, um, okay, it's uh, really deep. But what we also can find is um, that it's only one if and uh, else and else and else and else and else branch. Thank you for your time. We have the three evaluations. Um, this is in most cases uh, the best way to discover the benefits uh, for your um, project. For the metrics you use or what reports you want or just uh, try an evaluation for 30 days and figure it out to get full support in this time. Thank you for your time and goodbye.